G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. Now, Abel Sanchez, head trainer of Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, made some comments earlier in the week and kind of had the boxing world talking a little bit. And I purposely didn't make a video on this when it first came out because I really wanted to take in what he said and really gather my thoughts before I actually made a video about it. Now, for the people that don't know, Abel Sanchez basically said that black fighters have, have a style that's not pleasing to the fans, and that's why they don't sell. Now, if you just look at that quote by itself, then you would have a whole opinion that's probably racially based. But let me get into the whole interview. Basically, Abel Sanchez was talking about how Canelo Alvarez was fighting in terms of his style versus Triple G. He said that Canelo was doing a lot of moving. He was very defensive and he was throwing combinations out of desperation. So essentially, he said that Triple G turned Canelo into Mayweather in terms of the fighting style. And then at that point, that's when he said that black fighters have a style that's not pleasing to the fans and that's why they don't sell so after that he mentioned terry norris who was another black fighter and he said he turned him into mexican style so after I listened to the entire interview like three times and actually thought about what he said, I, I actually started laughing because his comment is incorrect and I'm going to respectfully correct him. And number two, the succession in which he made his comments makes it even more funny. And let me let me get into it. So when he made the statement about black fighters have a style that's not pleasing to the fans and that's why they don't sell. He had Floyd Mayweather in mind when he said it, because that was the topic. He was part of the topic. And that part is funny because, yes, Floyd Mayweather has a quote-unquote black fighter style, which is defined as hit and don't get hit, technically sound, slick defensively, slick boxer. That's what Abel Sanchez means by quote-unquote black fighter uh style now with floyd mayweather being in mind when abel sanchez made the comment it is hilarious because nobody has made more money in boxing history than floyd money mayweather nobody floyd mayweather has made if not a billion dollars very close to it with that same style. With that get and not get hit style. Okay. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has revolutionized boxing. In terms of how a fighter should conduct themselves. From a business standpoint. And thinking about their future. Floyd Mayweather is the reason for that. Now, I'm going to go into both things that he said, the style and the black fighter. Now, he never said what he meant by black fighters don't sell. Like, does he mean pay-per-view? Does he mean actually at the arena, live gate, filling up seats? Or does he mean TV ratings? When they're on TV. So he never said what he meant by sell. So I'll, I'll address all three because those are the three ways that you can sell. Now, pay per view wise, Black Fighter, that style. N nobody's been bigger in the history of boxing than Floyd Mayweather. He's a Black Fighter and he has that style. Okay. I'm going to mention other fighters that have had selling power. And you don't have to have to, you don't have to be a pay-per-view star to have selling power. 
Okay, you can have selling power via pay per view, via TV ratings, or live gate. You're filling up seats in the arena. Okay, now I'm gonna mention a couple of fighters that have that type style that really had drawing power and could sell in some way, shape, or fashion. Number one, Roy Jones Jr. Yes, he was exciting. Yes, he was unorthodox, but his core style was hit and not get hit. And he was slick defensively, and he moved a lot. But he stood in the pocket when he had to. Roy Jones is one. James Tony is another one. James Tony wasn't a pay-per-view star, but whenever James Tony fought, people was in them seats. And when he came on TV, them TV ratings was up. Bernard Hopkins is another one. When he reached his prime, he filled up the arenas. Filled up the arenas. And the TV ratings were good ratings with Bernard Hopkins. Now, I could get into a whole lot of other black fighters that are successful and sold some tickets having that style. Off the top of my head, Pernell Whitaker is another one. Pernell Whitaker is another guy that filled up the seats. Sugar Ray Leonard is another one that filled up the seats. Um, Tommy Hearns got into wars, but he was a boxer. He was a boxer. Later on in his career, he got into wars, but he was a pure boxer with a hit and, you know, not get hit style. So I can go on for days as far as a black fighter with that core style that had selling power okay but the point i really want to make is there's not one style and a style is not the only reason why your person sells or doesn't sell and it's funny with abel sanchez because canelo alvarez you can argue that he has a black fighter style he's slick as far as the movement the upper body movement he moves a lot like James Tony in terms of the upper body movement. He can counter punch. He got speed. And he has that hit and not get hit mentality. The only difference with Canelo is Canelo's feet is kind of slow. But his feet didn't look bad in the Triple G fight. Okay? And Canelo is the cash cow right now. And he has that type of a style. Yes, there's other elements to Canelo. But he has a black fighter style. I'll take another fighter that's not black that has that style that fills out arenas basically in his hometown or where he's at. Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders is one of the slickest fighters in the game. But when he fights, his TV ratings is good. And when he fights, the arenas is filled up if it's in the UK where he's at. So it's not just a style. And then I'm going to touch on one more thing. He said he had a fighter named Terry Norris. He said he turned Terry Norris in the Mexican style. Let me give you a little bit of history about Terry Norris. Terry Norris is a black fighter. And he fought at welterweight. He fought at 154. And Abel Sanchez said that he turned him into quote-unquote Mexican style. He turned him into a killer. Do your research on Terry Norris. Terry Norris was a great fighter. One of my favorite fighters of all time. Terry Norris had slurred speech in his early 30s. Because he had quote-unquote Mexican style. Okay? Okay. Las Vegas Commission, Nevada's Commission, declined him a boxing license in his 30s because of his slurred speech. And slurred speech comes from brain damage. Okay? And that's all from the quote-unquote Mexican style. You know who else had a quote-unquote Mexican style that was black? Meldrick Taylor. Meldrick Taylor is from Philly. He's from my hometown. He he's a shell, like literally a shell of himself because of the brain damage, the slurred speech, the fact that he's broke 
and everything else. Okay? And to cap this conversation off, it's funny that he mentioned Mexican style because he said Triple G is Mexican style. Triple G said that he's Mexican style. But what happens when Triple G gets into the ring against a guy that has power? And mind you, I'm not I'm not shitting on Triple G because he's number two on my pound for pound list. So this is no hate towards Triple G at all. Like this is just facts. Triple G says that he's Mexican style, but when he goes up against a guy with talent and power, Triple G shows the utmost respect inside of the ring. And you know what how Triple G fights in those fights versus those guys? Like a black fighter. He's technically sound. He boxes. He moves. Go back and watch the David Lemieux fight. That was supposed to have been a rock'em, sock'em, robots, Mexican-style type fight. Triple G turned into a black-style fighter in that fight. Danny Jacobs, he turned into a black-style fighter in that fight. And Kell Brook, if Kell Brook wasn't the smaller man, Triple G would have turned into a black-style fighter in that fight. If he goes up against Jamal Charlo, he's going to turn into a black style fighter. So it's funny that Abel Sanchez makes these comments about style when his own guy, Triple G, turns into a black style fighter when he faces a guy with power. There's nothing wrong with a hit and not get hit style. There's nothing wrong with being defensively responsible. There's nothing wrong with showing every facet of your game. Quote unquote Mexican style by itself gets you hurt. Not only in the short term, but in the long term physically. So I found Abel Sanchez comments to be very shallow on top of being wrong. And I'm actually going to do a part two on this topic because it's it's, it's deeper than just the comment because you can't listen to his comment and not get into the state of boxing period okay so that's my feelings on it a part two is coming out to this y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section g5 jeff tv hit the subscribe button hit the like button please share this video support your boy support good content at all times appreciate y'all peace